Hey guys, Happy Dude here, and I recently got some questions about which gun is more powerful than the other, but if we are going to compare plastic, steel and pellets to each other, it becomes pretty complicated. So that's why I'm gonna try and explain what exactly is FPS and Joule. Okay, let's start with the easiest, and that is the FPS. What is FPS? That is the speed of your projectile. So, could be plastic BBs, steel BBs or pellets. This is an airsoft gun, so it's plastic BBs with a diameter of 6 mm. And this airsoft gun has a velocity of 150 meters a second. So, for my American friends, that means that your uh, speed of your projectile will be 492 feet per second. So, that means that every second your projectile will travel 492 feet. And then we come to the second question, because the higher this number, the higher your joule will be. And joule is the amount of energy of your projectile that hits its target. So it's not the power of the gun itself, it's your projectile. And that's where it becomes pretty complicated, because you see this number right here, it depends of your projectile how heavy it is. So you see, that's where you have to find the perfect balance, because if you have a very heavy projectile, it will not go very far. So that's a bit useless. And if it's very light, it can travel very far and very fast also, but then the wind can take the projectile away. So that's also pretty useless. And then to make it even more complicated, we have different sizes of projectiles and also in a different shape and a different material. Now, a lot of you think that pellets are more powerful than steel BBs. Even though I already made a video a few years back where I do a test with the Don Weston and shoot pellets and steel BBs against a piece of glass, and these pellets just bounce off like plastic BBs and the steel BB destroys it in a few shots. And that's because pellets are made of lead and lead is very very weak. See, I only tapped it and it's completely flat. That's why it doesn't do any damage. Of course, when you have a very heavy and big pellet, like 5.7 millimeters or even 9 millimeters, and you shoot it at 500 or 1000 FPS, then yeah, it will do a lot of damage, of course. But not with a CO2 revolver. And here we have a plastic BB, which is 6 millimeters, so it's bigger and it's round and a round shape is always stronger it doesn't have any weak points but it's plastic see it cracked think if i do it one more time it will break see oh no <laughs> I made a dent. And then we have the very small 4.5 millimeter steel BB. So it's smaller, that makes it stronger, and it's steel. Now look what happens. See? It's in the wood and it's not broken, I can assure you. But I can't get it out anymore. <laughs> 
Let me try a very strong magnet. Nope. Now I really want to get that out. Got it. So you see there are a lot of variables to take in account. And I also don't ever believe this number right here. Because you don't know which projectile did they use to do this test. And that's why I always use this device right here to measure the FPS. A ballistic chronograph. That way you can see how much FPS you are getting with your projectile and then you also know the weight of your projectile then you enter that on a uh, conversion tool on the internet and then you can calculate how much joule of energy you are creating so if you cannot trust the velocity on the box you certainly don't have to trust the energy that's on the box if it says uh, 2.5 or 3 or 5 joule of energy so the energy that you see on the box is not what the gun generates but it's the projectile that hits the target with airsoft guns or air guns the gun itself is merely the propulsion system for the projectile because this is how it works an airsoft gun or air gun always works with pressure and when you pull the trigger right here the hammer slams onto a needle that will open a valve that is located right here and then a certain amount of pressure pushes the projectile through the barrel and no uh, putting more tension spring on the hammer doesn't affect the fps it doesn't matter how hard you hit that needle the amount of co2 is always the same but there are other factors that can result in a different fps for instance the weather when you use green gas this is highly dependent on the temperature that's why we use green gas when it's hot so above 20 degrees celsius and in the winter we use red gas and that's why i prefer co2 capsules because these are not as dependent on the temperature like green gas and there's also a lot more pressure in there if you don't understand let's put all of that into practice so right here we have some lead pellets these weigh 0 0.49 gram and they have a sharp point right here we have the 0 0.68 gram lead pellets and these have a cone shape and then here we have the steel BBs which weigh 0 0.35 gram so they are the lightest but the material is stronger and for that we're gonna use my trusty Don Wesson so first we're gonna test the FPS of these pellets right here I bought some shells for my Don Wesson but you have to push them a little bit deeper otherwise they get stuck now this Don Wesson is designed for uh, steel BBs but you can use lead pellets in them 
but you cannot do it the other way around. So if your gun is designed for pellets, you cannot use steel BBs in your gun because pellet guns have a rifle barrel and steel BBs will actually destroy that barrel. And now we're gonna try these pellets. Okay, time to test the steel BBs. For that, I'm gonna use the original shells of the Don Wesson, where the steel BBs go in the front. But I noticed that the steel BBs also fit in these shells that are designed for the pellets. So we're also gonna try that because I am very curious to see if that also changes uh, the FPS. So first up, these shells with the steel BBs. And now the shells where the steel BBs go in the back. And here are the results. Now with the first pellets I had some trouble. Sometimes they got stuck and sometimes the chronograph didn't measure the FPS. So these pellets are really not suitable for that revolver. Anyway the average FPS was 360 FPS and that is 2.93 joule of energy. The second pellets worked like a charm, really no trouble with it, but we had a FPS of only 300 and that is still 2.83 joules of energy. And then the steel BBs, they gave us a 410 FPS, but only 2.72 joules of energy. You see how different weight and even a different shape can have an impact on the FPS. Now if you see these numbers you would think that these will do the most damage because we have the highest energy. But these were very unreliable so maybe these will do the most damage but certainly not these. Well, I invite you to watch the next clip. I'm gonna test these pellets first. And now we're gonna test these pellets.
Okay, time to test the steel BBs. Also in terms of accuracy, the steel BBs were way more accurate than the pellets with the Don Wesson. So guys, I hope this video was informative for you. I hope you learned something and don't forget to like and subscribe to see more and you all have a nice day now. Bye!